So here's an SAT problem that I would classify as pretty tough. It says in the given system of equations, A is a positive constant. The system has exactly one distinct real solution. What is the value of A? So I looked at the first equation. The first equation literally hands us the value of Y. So I thought, okay, if I'm going to solve this system, it makes sense to put negative 1.5, the answer the first equation gives for y, in place of the y in the second equation, which gives me this top line that you see right here. Now, if you were going to do anything with this equation, you'd probably want it to be set equal to zero. The reason why is it is a quadratic equation. If a is a constant, a is some number. So what I did is I added the 1.5 onto the a, and I just kind of grouped those within a set of parentheses. Because if you solve a quadratic equation, one of the ways to do that is with the quadratic formula. And I have the version that you would recognize for that listed here. Now, one of the other aspects of this problem that makes this a little tricky is that the A that you see in this spot and this spot is not the same A as what we see here. Keep in mind, the A in the quadratic formula is the coefficient of x squared. So we're going to be putting a 1 here and a 1 here. We'd be putting an 8 in place of the b's, and then we'd be putting a plus 5 in place of the c. Now you'll notice I didn't necessarily use the entire quadratic formula in this position. I used what was under the root. And the reason why I did that is because of this middle sentence here. The system has exactly one distinct real solution. If the system doesn't have any real solutions, what's under this root is negative. If the system has two real solutions, what's under this root is positive. If there's only one distinct solution, what's under this root has to be zero because adding or subtracting zero doesn't give us any new result. It only leaves us with the one result. So what I did is I took what was under the root, which is called the determinant, not the determinant, that's from matrices, the discriminant of the quadratic formula, and I set that equal to zero. And then I plugged in the values that we talked about a minute ago. So 8 went in place of B, 1 went in place of the A from the discriminant, and then A plus 1.5 went in place of the C. And I was looking at this equation, and I thought, well, this is just negative 4 times this set of parentheses. So I can add that entire piece to the right-hand side. I can then undo that multiplication by dividing both sides by 4. And then I can subtract 1.5, and you end up with a result of 14.5 as the value for A that makes this system have one distinct real solution.